All right, so <clears throat> just to make this real easy, um, instead of spending a lot of time, I'm gonna put this on, um, I'll do a screen recording of, of taking uh, you through a um, how to build this in, in the form of a spreadsheet, uh, but I just wanted to point out a couple of things. So the design matrix, this is really just a way that we quantitatively, <clears throat> uh, meaning with numbers, um, rate or rank our different options. And you could use the same concept if you were looking at three different cars or two different pairs of basketball shoes or whatever. You always have ways that you rank things <clears throat> and that you prioritize um, your your need, okay? Um, in this class, we're always gonna use a rating scale of four, three, two, or one. And the reason for that is we can't use anything but whole numbers. And there is no middle ground between those. It's either a three, which means it's past the curve of mediocrity, or it's a two, which is not at that point yet. So it's always a four, three, two, or one. <clears throat> you could label that however you wanted to, excellent, good, whatever, but be descriptive, like approaching acceptability. That's helpful to a reader who's looking at this. And then you're gonna come up with your own categories. Um, design cost, build cost, number of moving parts, functionality, efficiency, size, appearance, safety, those are always kind of important, okay? And so right here, you can see I have four different categories. And so if I perceive, now I have to go through and rank them. So if I perceive safety to be the most important thing, like the number one most important thing, it's going to get the opposite number. It's going to get the, the since there's four, it's going to get like, not, it's not really the reciprocal, but you get the point. So that bears more weight than something else. <clears throat> so I might say that number two most important thing in this case is, I don't know, functionality. That seems pretty important. So if it's number two out of four, that becomes a three. All right. Maybe appearance is pretty important. So that's the third most important thing, but it's out of four, so now that becomes a two. The same would be the case if you were using six categories. And then cost is not that important. Why is it not that important? Maybe the alternative product is 10 cents more, so it's not hugely different, okay? So now what you do is you go through this and um, your product number one, two, and three, you would have a thumbnail image. <clears throat> in each one of these things. Just to remind the person what was product number one, what was product two, <clears throat> and then you're gonna go apply a score. So if you say that this product, product number one, scores a three in terms of safety, okay? And then you say that product number two um, scores, let's say a four in appearance. So I just do this part first. And the cost is, um, let's say this this one has, you know, um, it's not it's not great. Could the cost could come down? And then the functionality, uh, however, for this one, is very good. Let's say it gets a four. Okay, so the cost is high, but the, it functions very well. And what you do now is you take this and you apply the weight to it. So you say, okay, three times four is this gets a score of a twelve. Four times two gets a score of an eight. 2 times 1 gets a score of a 2, and then uh, 4 times 3 gets a score of a 12. And then you add up all the totals, right? 24, um, uh, what is that, 20, 32, 34. So product A scores a 34. And then you move on to product 2. Maybe this one, in this case, scores a 4. I'm just making this up. And then maybe this one scores a 1, and this one scores a 3. So again, you use that multiplier. Four times the weight, so that scores a 16. Two times a two scores a four. One times a one scores a one. And three times a three scores a nine. And then you add these up, 10, 26, this scores a 30. And I'm not gonna keep going, but you can see that, <clears throat> um, as, at least as of right now, product one, my first idea, in fact, is at a total of 34. And this one only scores a 30. So this one is doing much better already. Um, there's something you do have to go back and look at, and sometimes something will tie, or sometimes there's not even um, much of a standout. Let's just say, without putting in all these scores, this one becomes a 31, and this is a 30. 
Well, sometimes you got to go back and look and say, where, where did this one outdo this one? Maybe it was in safety. Maybe it was twice as safe. So maybe that makes it a seemingly better product. Or what if you have a tie? In this case, we have a tie right there and right there. Safety and functionality scored very high. If something else tied, how do I break it? And that's completely up to you.